So you want to open up your natural gifts and you're wondering how to do that. How can I do that? How can I open up my natural gifts? Well, first you need to find them. And some of you, we've already worked on that and you kind of know what they are. Um, there are different gifts. There are gifts of service. You know, we all have gifts. Some people look and say, well, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to... Some of us are musically inclined. Some of us can write. Some of us are connected spiritually. You know, we all have spiritual gifts too. A gift of service. If you're always helping people and, and you're good at it, you're drawn to it, it feels like what you need to do, you probably have a gift in that department. And, it might, you know, one thing that's that's funny is I hear a lot of people say, well, that's nothing. That's easy to me. Well, if it's your gift, it is easy to you. Um, you know, um, maybe you hear things, see things. Um, maybe um, people are drawn to you for advice, that sort of thing. Um, maybe you are good with people that are physically ill or mentally ill. There are many, many gifts, but first and foremost, to open your gifts up, you know, you want to become aware of them. A lot of times we're drawn to something like I love to sing. It's not a gift of mine. You know, yeah, sure, I could take uh, voice lessons and, you know, I could probably do OK, but it's not a gift of mine. It's not something um, naturally within me. I would have to work especially hard at it and that brings disappointment you know um, a lot of people are born into families where like the whole family does something and you're expected to do that and you're just not good at it and it can bring you down it can you know can make you feel like you're you know um, unworthy or that kind of thing so be happy in the gift that you have a lot of times you might want another gift it's not yours okay that's okay. Build up the gift that you have to the best of your ability. I want to know, I want you, I want to know, I want to focus on what your foundation is because you know what, especially when we're talking about spiritual aspects, if you don't have a good foundation, if you're just kind of here, there, flighting and everywhere, you're in a danger zone because like it or not, believe it or not, there are negative entities out there that want to destroy you and they can get to you through what you desire. They come to you in a positive light at first. You know, remember the devil's a liar. He's the father of all lies. So he's going to come to, he's not going to come to you as an evil entity. He's going to come to you as somebody that can make your dreams come true, you know? Um, so just be very, very careful in the spiritual realm. And how do you do that? It's not like, you know, I hear some people say, well, I'm powerful. Well, you know what? The devil is a liar, like I said, and he's going to work on your your um, hopes and dreams. So you need to have a good foundation. You need to have a strong, healthy faith. And with that healthy faith, you can build on that, um, knowing that you're safe in your faith. You're safe in the truth, okay? Um, so that's first and foremost. If you need help with that, message me. We'll go backwards. We'll start at square one, okay? Um because that is the most important. Because you know what? The more you know the truth, the less likely you are to be fooled. And I have heard so many people claim to know the truth, work in this stuff, and they might even be successful. You know, just because you're working with your gift doesn't mean you're going to be a millionaire. It doesn't mean you're going to be famous, even if it's something that the rest of the world makes a ton of money on. What God cares about is relationships, your faith, your integrity, the person that you are, because in the next realm, we're already in eternity, but when we cross realms into where we're going to stay for eternity, what matters is not how much money you have, is not how much fame you have. It, it matters how you treat people. It matters how, you know, what kind of person you are. Okay. So let's remember that because there are a lot of people, you know, they'll say, oh, well, they must be walking in the truth because everybody knows them and because they've got a lot of money. Or another one I hear that really bothers me is if you, you're so faithful, Lori, why do these bad things happen to you? I'll tell you why. Two reasons. We live in a fallen world, period. We live in a fallen world by choice, not by our personal choice always. I mean, because some of us come to know the truth. But by choice, as a collective choice, we live in a fallen world. So bad things happen in a fallen world. Some of them we can't explain. Number two, we got the devil at our throats all the time trying to bring us down. 
Okay? So that's why bad things happen. Some of these things we'll never, ever, ever understand as long as we live. But when we cross over to the other side, we'll have a deeper understanding. <clears throat> How committed are you to working out your gifts? Because that's what we're here to do. We're he that's what we're here to do. We learn, we grow through relationship, through using our gifts. We learn, we grow, we become who we're who we are meant to be along our, our destiny, along our path. And then we, we move on to eternity because we're all going to move on to eternity. Okay. And it kills me how many people are like retirement minded or worried about today, you know, got to pay this, that, and that. And I know we have to pay our bills. Please don't get me wrong. I understand that. But so focused on that, that they kind of put eternity to the side. Well, you know what? You can save and save and save for retirement and die at 64. Okay? So let's put our, our priorities straight. So you want to open up your gifts. So first and foremost, make sure your foundation is good. Next, I want you to, like I told you before, gratitude. So, you know, even if you wake up in a crappy mood, force yourself to think of at least five things that you're grateful for each day. And then I want you to take a few minutes each day and just kind of raise your vibration up, open up. I am here to open up my gift. Okay. And, um, and then each day do something to open that gift. Okay, if your gift is a gift of service, then find something where you can serve each day, even, you know, whatever it is, it's the smallest thing, but practice each day. If you're um, more in the spiritual realm, yours is helping people each day, take some time to do that. Work it every day, every day, every day, and it's going to grow. Another thing is come into a community of like-minded people, people you can trust, people that will hold you accountable people that will allow you to vent um, and, and come into that community together. If you do not have people around you like that, I have a small community. It's online, but join us, okay? Um, take five minutes a day to just be silent. Just be silent. Don't try not to worry about anything. And you say, how can I shut off my mind? Just be silent, okay? You're not going to shut off your mind. Different things are going to come through it. But do this. Go inhale for eight seconds. Hold. No, I'm sorry. Inhale for four seconds. Hold for eight seconds. Exhale for eight seconds. Inhale for eight seconds. Hold for four seconds. Exhale for four seconds. Keep doing this, okay? So we're going to come in at four seconds. Do that, and then just remain in that energy. That kind of breathing should have calmed you down. As you're staying in this energy, you can listen to sweet, not lyrics, um, <clears throat> but some nice music if you want. Nice, soft music. You don't have to. It doesn't matter if the outside world, you're hearing noises. That's okay. And just kind of sit there. Let the thoughts flow through. Don't judge them. Don't try to just let them go through. Do that for at least five minutes a day. It may get longer each day, but as you do that, what and, and it sounds like you're probably like, Lori, I want to open my gifts. I want to start using them. You need to learn to get still and silent first. Okay? And this is how you do it. So do the deep breathing techniques kind of after you've raised your vibration, done your gratitude, and just kind of sit in it. 
And then I want you to have your notebook. And if anything happened, thoughts were in through your mind, um, you felt something, you heard something, whatever, write it down. If not, it's okay. Just write whatever's on your mind. It's important to keep our notebooks with us handy dandy all the time, okay? Um, do the same thing when you go to sleep because you may have a dream. And I know we always wake up going, no, I'll remember that. Um, and you don't always. Everybody dreams. Even if you believe you don't, if you don't remember your dreams, the only people, they say if you don't dream, you're insane. So you do dream. It's just you may not remember your dreams. But your mind is active even while you sleep. A lot of times we work out things while we're sleeping. So just kind of do this just for the first week, and then we'll move forward after that. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon.